Welcome back, guys. Once again, this is Asmarant with 49ers News, and I have 49ers News. And this is all about our, well, our main quarterback. So this is on uh, si.com forward slash NFL forward slash 49ers, and this is all about this guy. Uh, Jimmy Garoppolo is not long for the 49ers. This is an article on um, <coughs> Jimmy G. Uh, Jack Hammer did the article. Uh, so let's read it. Uh, it says, Carl Shanahan's recent comments suggest the 49ers have wanted to replace Jimmy G all year. Okay, so let's read. If there was any doubt that the 49ers went into the offseason looking to move on from Jimmy Garoppolo, it was, the, uh, it was a raise when Carl Shanahan joined the Flying Coach podcast hosted by the Los Angeles Rams head coach Sean McVay and NFL Network's Peter Schneider. Uh, when the topic of the Rams' uh, question of... Matthew Stratford come up. Shanahan left a little doubt about where, uh, about how he felt. I remember looking through uh, through it because everyone was telling me it was a possibility. Shanahan said, "And Stanford is the man." I said to him, "Hard coming out of college, and you always just play against him, so you know how good he he is." But to know he might be available, had to sp and to spend two weeks really watching him, Sean. Uh, w watching him, Sean. Yeah, he's better than I I have realised. I mean, he was the man, and he's currently uh, underrated to me. So I knew how good of a guy you got. I know how good uh, he is at a play action, and how smart he is. Not only does he have a, a big arm, but he's got touch. He knows where to go with the ball. Throughout the offseason, the 49ers have been linked to a number of uh, available quarterbacks. During the early part of the free agency, San Francisco was rumoured to have interest in signing Andy Dalton. However, he ended up signing with the Chicago Bears. According to reports, Shanahan was very interested in bringing in the veteran. Michael Tulsby uh, was another name that was mentioned during this period. Uh, as free agent began to win down and the draft approach, San Francisco showed interest in particularly trading for then Carolina Panthers quarterback Teddy Bridgewater and also the New York Jets quarterback Sam Darnold. Either of those talks went far and appeared to be more out, uh, more about gauging the coast. Uh, all this is occupied after the 49ers missed out on uh, Stratford. To cover up their uh, missteps, the 49ers would decide to use the three first-round uh, draft picks along with a third-rounder to acquire the number three in the draft from the Miami Dolphins and ultimately selects Trey Lance. <coughs> of all, uh, all of this, the 49ers have uh, interest that Jimmy Garoppolo was still their quarterback. However, even that claim is starting to show cracks. Shanahan has progressed from originally saying that Lance would be competing for the starting job shortly after the selection was made. Uh, to st to stay in that when Lance would play would be entirely up to him showing that he is ready. When the 49ers will be able to get through the installation of the offense during their OTA seasons, it's now on Lance to show that his physical uh, abilities is on the same level as his mental accuracy. For anyone who has watched Lance closely during his time at North Dakota State, the physical side isn't going to be an issue. And that's by Jack Hammer. So, <clears throat> the overall, this is my thoughts. If you wanted to get with Jimmy G, they could have easily gotten away with it. No matter how much they wanted to, they could easily get rid of him. Regardless of this article. That's, that's what I think. Regardless of this article, right, like, he, uh, they could have gotten a trade out of him easily um they could have got trade picks or just picks whatever they could easily get rid of jimmy g my thing on top of it why would you all right let's talk about injuries yes that's that's one of the big issues injuries how do you know that he ain't worked his ass off last year when he had the injured off to have the time out to then make that time up coming into this this year this season and then to kick ass all the way through yeah okay have a day off or two blah 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 but to you know to get in there and bearing in mind Shanahan said he's our number one he's starting he's our number one if his physical shape is on form I cannot see why not Jimmy G shouldn't go this year for, for one clue example this over season like off season it goes well 
regular season starts, you have, let's say, first week, great. Second week, he's injured out, like the last year. Let, let, let's just repeat it, if it happens this year. Hopefully, it doesn't, but let's see. If it happens, and he's out for the year, Trey Lance steps up. And do I think Trey Lance could step up in a few games, even without him? Yes, I think they should swap. Because the way that they're talking about Trey Lance, like I've seen that for North Dakota State, when he was playing in 2019, I've seen he's playing 2020, which weren't a, a lot. There's not a lot of videos on there, but 2019, I've seen this guy can kick ass. He really can. And the way that they're looking in the training camps and so forth, I can't see, like the way that they're talking. His mechanical arm is way better than a lot of people expected. His movement is great. I can't see why this guy can't swap like. One week, Jimmy, Trey, Jimmy, Trey, Jimmy, Trey. I can't see why not. That's what I thought would be better. But if they're not going to do that, they'll probably wait until Jimmy's injured out and then he's gone. That's fine. Fair dues. But if Jimmy can prove us wrong, and I'm thinking I'm about my mind, he might prove us wrong. I'm 50-50 on it. If he can get you with no injuries to a playoffs, he might stay with us for the next year, and I and I can see it happening. For you, even like for argument's sake, because I always say we we'll take the game step by step. If he gets you to a Super Bowl, he's definitely staying. I'll be shocked even if they do trade him or get rid of him then, because if they could easily have done it now, so why do we have to wait till next year? If he gets so to a playoffs. To a Super Bowl, and he does so well. I cannot see why not they'll keep him right until the end of his contract's finished. Imagine, I'm just a theory, if he does win a Super Bowl with Jimmy G. No Trey Lance, just with Jimmy G. What would happen then? Would he still go? Yeah, I think he'll still go. But when his contract is dead, like gone. If on his last contract, on his last year contract, that he wins the Super Bowl then, I guarantee you they'll add him up for another year. I've just got that dumb feeling in the back of my mind, which Jimmy G is really good. Not great, really good. Because he's got you to a Super Bowl, sadly just couldn't finish the job. Would I Would I want to see him for another year? Me personally, no. you got Trey Lance for a reason. You want something different? Football is different. It's getting different every year. You want to Trey Lance. But that's just my thoughts. Um, leave a comments, guy. What's your thoughts on this with Jimmy G? Is he, would he stay longer than a year? Or would he not stay longer than a year? What is your thoughts on Jimmy G this season? Leave your comments down below. Tell us what you think. Thank you very much for the 38 subscribers as well. Really fortunate, humble, and appreciated that you subscribe. Really am. Um, and if you're new, subscribe. So there's a lot more 49ers news. And I've got a big, big, big announcement at the end of this month. Uh, as well, involving live streaming. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for guys for watching, and I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.